Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good. Today's video session is about Salesforce web to lead Let's understand what is web to lead and how we can go ahead and enable web to lead in our Salesforce doc. Salesforce web to lead allows users to use web forms and fill basic information and capture those information as leads in the Salesforce. So basically, it allows you to create a leads directly into the Salesforce, that is, do the integration with the Salesforce. Now, if you might have noticed, whenever we try to open any of your web, any of the websites, suppose you are interested in in a product and you try to open a website, it asks you to fill in some basic information like what is your first name, what is your last name, what is your contact details, what is your address, or any other description or any other information. As soon as a customer tries to enter those information or those details on that specific website and clicks on submit, what happens next? At the back end, a lead gets created into the Salesforce. That's when the lead management process gets started and the lead representative works on those specific leads and based upon the different certain criteria like what is a lead score or lead rating, the lead reps tries to analyze those um, records or those leads and uh, they move forward in the uh, lead management process. So basically lead in the Salesforce or Sales Cloud is a potential customer who has shown some interest in buying our product or the services. Based upon that particular interest, the lead rep analyzes it, right? Uh, he tries to convert that particular uh, lead into an opportunity. And they, from there on, there are certain stages which are involved in the opportunity that is, um, some negotiation that is opportunity or reps tries to interact with the customers uh, understands what is that the customer is exactly looking out for and uh, later on in different phases uh, we decide whether the opportunity is closed one or the opportunity is closed uh, lost so all of this is called as is defined as a sales process we will discuss in detail about uh, the sales process sales process in our next video this video session is mainly um, is it's mainly related to how how we can go ahead and implement uh, web to lead and um, how we can generate a web to lead uh, form. So this is our SFDC one stop blog uh, blog spot blog wherein we have uh, updated a lot of information related to various topics in the Salesforce. We have also updated a lot of uh, information related to different release notes and other details. Whenever you have some time, uh, I would also request you to please refer this SFDC One Stop uh, blog. Uh, I have also updated basic information related to SFDC Salesforce Web to Lead in this uh, blog as well. Now, let us go into our Salesforce and try to try to enable Web to Lead. Log into our Salesforce Devon and from this sales setup, search for web. Under the marketing, you see that web to lead. Click on edit. And uh, look for web to lead enable. This is something which is unchecked. So in order to enable your organization to receive the online leads, you have to ensure that you are checking this specific checkbox. So that is the step one. The next is it is asking whether we need this required recapture verification. So what is the main purpose of the recapture? May, uh, recaptcha is mainly used to reduce the uh, spam. We are currently not using this recaptcha, hence um, it is not needed to enable this recaptcha verification. Now, next is whenever a leads, whenever a record is getting created from the website, who should be the default lead creator? We are going ahead and choosing the default lead creator here. You can use this lookup and search for the user who should be assigned as a default lead creator and assign that as a default lead creator. I'm choosing this one. Now we can also choose what should be the default response template. Here it says that use lead auto response rules to select different email templates based on the criteria. Leads not matching any of the rules will be sent the default response template. So I'm uh, using this default response template. Uh, this is just a sim sam simple email template which is being used which says that hey thank you so much for inquiring about our product we will get back to you soon so that is what is a default response template once you have filled all this information click on save so first step is done that is 
you went ahead and enabled the web tooling in your org what is the second step if you remember the customer is asked to fill in certain information right first name last name and other details that is something which you can achieve using creation of web to lead form button here here you can see we have this button click on this button this will help us to select the fields that should appear on that specific web to lead form so here on the left hand side you see that there are certain available fields these and all are the um, standard fields um, which is already existing in the system because i have not created any of the custom fields whatever the custom fields you create it will still it will be appearing here and based upon um, your use case what field should be shown on the form you can select uh, the field from the available fields and move it to the selected fields by default there are certain fields which are selected first name last name email company city and state uh, i think i don't need the city well, let's remove that click on state click on this button remove remove it let's see what all different fields which are available and we can move it on that particular field from the available field section to the selected field section i need phone i also need description okay now we have selected the fields which needs to be there on the form now let us do some realignment let's move this phone after last name so click on this up button phone email company and the description okay so we have built the form now i need the form to look in this specific format first name last name phone email then i need the company details and also i would need the description once you build the form and uh, you have the submit button what should happen next so that is what we will be defining here that is called as return url return url is something as soon as a user is trying click on that submit button it should redirect to something and what it should redirect to is something which you will be defining over here so i'm giving my blogspot url here and if at all uh, you have included uh, the recaptcha in the earlier page that is um, uh, setup page you can you have to include this recaptcha and then there are certain steps that needs to be performed in order to enable the recaptcha for our org since we are not choosing the recaptcha i am disabling it and uh, language let it keep it default and click on generate so when you click on generate based upon whatever the fields that you have selected it will generate an html code for us salesforce is that clear enough you know um, that um, clever enough to generate the form for us so here you can see that it has created a html code for us let us copy this and open a notepad and paste it here so you can see that this is my html code it has the first name and all the details that we have selected and it is by adding the submit button also so we can save this as dot html okay all files and click on save okay so what you have done you have copied the html code from the salesforce to a desktop as a notepad you have saved this particular html code as dot html and we will see how we can open that now let's click on html so this is what is a form that you can do a lot of beautification to this specific form however uh, the intent of this video is not doing uh, all of those and i'm not concentrating more on the beautification but what is the motive whether the user is able to go ahead and fill the information and uh, the, those informations gets redirected to the salesforce or not that is the general motive right so let's see if that is achieved let's give some basic information sfdc phone i will give this email i will give salesforce company and age ye yeah, i am very much interested in your products x please provide more details so customer is going here and entering this and click on submit 
So what will happen when the user tries to click on the submit? If you recall in our create web to lead form, we have chosen the written URL, right? Now, as soon as the customer tries to click on submit, it redirects me to the written URL, which is sfdp1stop.blogspot.com. So now, let's see what has happened to the details that a customer has entered. Now, what we will do, we will log in into our Salesforce from the app launcher, right? Let's open the Sales Console app launcher. And we will see whether the lead record is created or not. Yeah, here you see a lead record gets created in the Salesforce automatically. So all the informations what you have entered on that specific HTML, that is a website, all those details are captured, uh, captured as a lead in my Salesforce. And what is the status of the lead? open not contacted and it also says the description so based upon whatever the details it is updated um, the lead representative tries to contact the, the customer then he can go ahead and update the status and then move it to converted and then he can go ahead and choose the convert the leads gets converted into the opportunity account and a lot of other things will happen in the uh, sales process so this is how a leads gets created into the uh, sales force Okay, now let's see. If you recall, we have this um, um, chosen the default uh, template, right? Response template. Here you see that I got this email to my email address, what you have given as a customer. Thank you for inquiring about the SFDC one stop products. A representative will shortly contact you. So, this is how you acknowledge the customer saying that, hey, Whatever the details you have entered on the website, we acknowledge the details you have entered and somebody from our company will surely reach out to you uh, for, to gather some more information, some more information. So that is a great customer, customer um, service that you are providing it to your customer. So this is how we enable the Salesforce web to lead in an organization and we can go ahead and use the web to lead form uh, fill in all those information, have those details filled in by the customer and those details get automatically created into the Salesforce as a lead and from there on the sales process or the lead management process gets kicked off. So this is what we have for today's session. Uh, in our next, next video session, what we will be discussing is how we can go ahead and embed the same web to lead form directly in our website. If you recall, we have already have our Salesforce custom SFDC one stop community, right? So what we will do is we'll try to uh, embed this um, HTML into that uh, SFDC community, say, uh, sorry, SFDC one stop community that we have created and we'll see how our leads gets created into the Salesforce. So this is one of the best way to increase the organization uh, sales. So thank you so much for all for watching all our videos and providing your wonderful feedback and wonderful comments. We really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again. Until we come up with our next video, signing off, Namrata Kariyala. Have a great day. Bye-bye.